Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and ohio, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memorial Freeze video. And today, well, you guys thought after the last video for the shitty summon for the bell and Ryu assist that I would be making a summon video. But as you can see by the title of this video, there has been a slight change of heart between the release of that video and me recording this video and i'm gonna go over all of those details in just a second and we'll talk about the new unit that has released and my thought process regarding them after a couple of hours after they have released actually so of course if you guys going to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more don machi content and of course leave a comment down below letting me know are you guys still planning on summoning for this bell and review even after i've made all of these shenanigans happen basically of me recording that first video where i did gush over the new unit and then now i'm kind of backtracking a little bit let me know in the comment section down below now i would like to preface this video by saying that i still stand by a majority of what i said in that video regarding the new unit the bell assist that they have released this dual resonance bell cronel is a very solid assist unit in all honesty right because what this bell does is basically it's a non-time limited version of the Hermes that released during the 4th anniversary because we haven't had a MRES minus 25% unit in a long time. So the fact that we are able to get a non-time limited version of this unit is excellent. Furthermore, we do get a unit that is capable of giving allies wind attack damage plus 25% who's capable of going extremely well alongside the assist fin that came out during the recollections of the wind event of course to make a really strong wind team basically or more specifically with this assist a wind magic team. Now going back to what I said in that video right and what I talked about in that video I said I basically would be summoning for this unit primarily because, oh, minus 25% MRES and of course the wind attack damage can come in handy for me because I have Alfia maxed out, I have Hero Festa Ryu maxed out and who's to say what may come out in the next couple of weeks, right? We are probably going to be getting Sword Oratoria Volume 10 in a few weeks time, maybe even next week because there is a live stream next week. So it could be next week. We are obviously going to be getting the final anime gachi unit next week. And of course, if it's like last time round, you know, where we did get that uh, Ryu assist unit, right? Who gives P-Res uh, minus 25% and of course 25% fire attack damage up, right? There is a very good chance that, well, it just like that Ryu got Argo Vesta Bell at the end of the anime uh, season, right? At the end of part one, we got a Argo Rabbit Bell, who is a fire physical unit, in line extremely well with what obviously that uh, Ryu assist was capable of doing, right? Um, in specific, I'm talking about this Ryu assist, who I unfortunately do not have. Um, she was giving MP res minus 25% fire attack damage plus 25% goes extremely well with that Argo Rabbit Bell. We could exactly have the same situation happening next week with, of course, this Bell Cronel assist unit, and then, of course, we might get a Ryu adventure next week, right? Very likely to happen. However, do you should you summon right now? And I, met, I put a comment on the bottom of my video after the video released because after listening to myself through the edit, right, and then re-watching the video because I like re-watching my video at least once uh, when it does go live so that I can see if there are any A mistakes or B, do I need to add anything in the comment section that I might have forgotten about, right? So for me, I wanted to listen into the video again and I felt like while I was being very optimistic about the position of this unit, right? This Bell Cronel who is capable of being a extremely useful unit for a lot of people who are running a magic team, especially a magic team in Record Buster, right? Right? Um, that minus 5% MRES and 5% wind attack damage could help out tremendously, you know, even though it may seem not too significant in a 15 turn fight, like I always say, it can make a difference. And especially because, right, if you may not have a wind attack damage up unit, this bell and, Ryu, uh, bell and Ryu assist can help you out in that regards, right? But I made a comment in that video saying basically, look, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video. And this is, of course, that follow-up video. Talking about what I feel about this unit in more detail, giving guys my thoughts on it. And, of course, talking about the 
grand scheme of things regarding this unit and why i'm not summoning on this unit anymore um at least for the next week in all honesty i'm probably not going to be summoning on this uh for on this banner to be quite honest because of a couple of reasons that i'll go into in just a second but i also add on to that comment as well that if you have any questions or queries i will answer them in the video itself and i did also reply to some people as well but we will be going through the comment section of that video in just a second but also i mentioned that if you want to summon for this unit go for it remember at the end of the day this is a gacha game and at the end of the day you're going to want to spend on this gacha game if you want to be a top player the best way to play this game in all honesty is to a have fun and go for only the anniversary and hero festa gacha banners to be quite honest if you want bang for your buck and bang for your savings I'd say the best way to go about it is to summon for characters you like and then go for the big time banners, the hero festas and of course the anniversary banners, right? Those are the two times you should always summon in all honesty. Never summon on anything else because at the end of the day, you're just uh, going to have buyer's remorse at the uh, at that point, right? Once you spend on, on a banner and then you're like, well, frick, I didn't need to spend on this banner, you know? And then you'll be like, ah, crap, I should have saved up my iris. Oh, I regret summoning on this banner. I don't want to play the game anymore. It, it, it ends up being that sort of situation, which is really unfortunate because it does happen. You see it in any gacha game you play. Dokkan, Legends, Fate Grand Order, Genshin, Honkai, whatever, you name it, right? You summon on a banner you didn't want to summon on, you had doubts on it, and then you summoned on it, and then you have buyer's remorse. It happens, right? It always happens. But if you are... 100% sure you want to summon on this banner because you like the character and you like the artwork go for it I'm not gonna stop you nobody can stop you it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to summon it's the same thing with me as well I'll be very honest and say um when I went for this Althea and Zar banner right I wasn't sure whether or not I should summon on this banner to be quite honest I was very 50 50 initially but then I realized you know I read the story um and I and I've been a big fan of Althea's character in terms of like the potential she had of course of being uh, a, a family to Belle and then of course the what if story kind have brought that back for me so for me it was a must summon i'm not going to summon on this alfia banner because i don't care about this version of alfia but this version of alfia with that uh, bell in the background and of course the bell what if story for me it made sense to summon on this banner so again if you really want to go for this unit go for it i'm not going to stop you i don't think anybody will stop you going for this unit for me though um I decided to not go for this unit and I'll give a couple of reasons why. First and foremost, while I do like the MRES minus 25% and the wind attack damage up plus 25%, I only have two really good wind magic units, Hero Festa Ryu and Alfia, right? Now, of course, next week's banner unit, the anime gacha banner unit could be another wind magic Ryu who will be phenomenal, potentially, right? It very likely might actually be that, to be quite honest. If it's exactly like what they did last time around where we had the Ryu assist who directly supported the bell adventurer, it's very likely that this bell assist will directly support the Ryu adventurer, right? So I may summon for that. Maybe, maybe I might summon for that. But on top of that, the other reasons why I am not summoning on this banner is right now I'm at only 6,000 Iris, right? And next week, we're going to be getting a live stream. We're going to be probably getting Volume 10's uh, adaptation, Sword Oratoria Volume 10's adaptation next week, right? And uh, along with that, we are going to start moving into the spring season, which is the due date for, of course, our third iteration of the Hero Festa Gacha Banner. So there is a very high chance that at the end of this month, we could get our next Hero Festa Gacha Banner. Now, if I were to go all in on this banner, and let's say next week's anime Gacha Banner is also a Wind Magic unit, I would have to go on that banner as well, right? At that point, I only have about three weeks at most to save up for a hero festa gacha banner and as somebody who obviously thrives off of content for you guys right and uh, doing summons on big time banners for me it's way better to save up for the hero festa gacha banner because i'd love to summon on that banner because i feel like that's much more valuable not only just for me but for your guys's content your guys's interest in terms of like oh are the Hero Festa banners actually any good? And I can actually test those units units out. Maybe not in their best case scenario, but at least I can test them out because I have them at MLB. I don't have to use the trial units who have really wonky assists and stuff like that. I'll actually have the units in my hand, maybe at plus three, maybe at plus four, if I'm lucky, plus five, right? Rather than summoning on this banner where it's like, yes, it could be valuable for me for the next two weeks, but then 
it's not as valuable because I had to miss out on the Hero Festa gacha banner and I had to save up for another 3-4 weeks to summon on the Hero Festa banner. Furthermore, it kind of topples over basically right because of course we're gonna be getting the anniversary in june so then i would have to now start saving up for the the anniversary's banners right so it just becomes a sort of situation where everything sort of stumbles over the other and as a free-to-play player right of course once danmachi battle chronicle comes out i'll be able to basically um do more summons generally on the channel because battle chronicle summons as well as dan mimo summons but free to play on both i'll be able to do more summons on both but right now on dan mimo i'd like to be more of a free to play player uh show you guys the way of uh, being free to play basically right um and so far i've done that the only time i've actually spent on the banner or spent on the game so far in the last year was basically for this uh, this alfia right because i really wanted to go for her. otherwise i've not spent on the game whatsoever uh, I haven't uh, I have had no reason to spend on the game so yeah for me I think uh, in all honesty those were the couple of reasons why I decided you know what I guess no reason to summon honestly and furthermore I got one copy remember that this month we are very likely to be getting the gacha update for the ticket banner so it's very likely that these guys will be added by the end of this month. I wouldn't be surprised during the US anniversary, which is on the 27th of March, if I'm not mistaken. We will be getting a lot of free multis each day. There won't be any special banner or anything of that sort. We never get it. The main anniversary celebration is always celebrated with JP's anniversary in June. Um, but for the US anniversary, we usually get some bundles. We get free multis. Um, there will probably be the ticket gacha update then as well. So generally these guys will get added at the end of this month anyways, right? And on top of that, right, whenever the Hero Festa gacha banner comes or any double raids banner comes, right, we're probably going to see these guys in those mul in those multis some way, somehow, to be quite honest. So I would suggest getting a copy of this unit is very smart. I would say get a copy of this unit. In all honesty, what I'm going to be doing right now in this video, I still promise summons, right? I did say that we were going to do summons. I'm actually going to do a multi on this banner. I want to get this Elise for a couple of reasons. One, just to have a copy of this Elise because she's very interesting to me. I really like her kit. But also the second reason is because I will be using her in tomorrow's final trial live stream. Which, by the way, we're going to be streaming that tomorrow evening at 9pm GMT most likely. So be sure to stick around for that. That is 9pm UK time for those of you living in America. That would be 4pm EST, I think. So be sure to get around, uh, stick around for that. Of course, get subscribed for that. We're going to be doing a live final trial runs. I'll be talking about Don Machi as well. Generally, uh, you know, talking about the episode and stuff like that so feel free to hang out of course in that chat of course right um so yeah i would say getting a copy of these anime gacha units is not really a miss purely because well they're going to be added to the general pool they are non-time limited units right and you will inevitably get them some way somehow so it's not really a bad idea to go for that so let's do a multi on the alize banner right now and uh, we'll call it there but yeah hopefully you guys understand where i'm coming from and you guys understand my thoughts Hopefully, I could help you out in some way, shape, or form. We will be checking out the uh, comments of the YouTube video in just a second as well to go over some of what other people thought. But I thought we'll start off with the Elise banner and then wrap up with those YouTube comments. But yeah, bet to... Uh, to well, I, it's not bet to kick us off with. We had Chloe and Gareth, I think it was, at the start. Um, I would appreciate maybe a double four-star multi here. Uh, game, please. I know you gave me uh, only Bell one bell in that uh in on their banner so maybe if we can get uh two here that would be nice it doesn't seem like it i think we're just gonna get one alize it seems like we're getting only one alize and that's it this was a min roll by the way it was a min roll because we only got the four star and that's it the others were all two stars so that's fantastic justice never ends fantastic appreciate it game thanks Thanks. I swear somebody else had a Justice Never Ends title as well. Who? What? I think it was Astraea. It was literally the same tagline. So I generally thought for a second I got Astraea there and then we were going to go into Elise. But no, it was just Elise at the end of the day. But yeah, let's go over to the YouTube video and see for ourselves uh, what everybody else has to say. I'm very curious to see what um, people think about the new unit in all honesty. Uh, I'm very, very curious to see what uh, everybody has to say here. So hopefully... Uh, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, of course, I said, P.S., I will be dropping another video, going into more detail, and with maybe summons for Bell and Ryu at this point. At that point, when I was typing out the comment, I was still unsure. This was like 2.30 p.m. I recorded the video. 3 p.m. the video went up. I put that comment at like 3.05 or something like that, or 3.10 basically. And then I was just like, 
look, maybe I might stubborn, I'm not sure right now. And I went on to say like, I'm gonna be making some points and thoughts in that video. And then of course, if you have any queries or questions, leave them in this video and I, I it double down. I basically say, so do not summon if you have any doubts, because like I said, there's always buyer's remorse and I don't want anybody to have buyer's remorse because I was gushing over a unit, you know? Um, so I would say that to be the case. All right, so let's see. I'm in the same boat as you, have Alfia and Ryu Max, and I don't have any ma good magic units apart from them. I just started my magic collection, so it looks like I have to MOB this. If you're wanting to double down on the magic team, go for it, right? Um, if you're uncertain about whether or not you're going to be going down the magic route like I am, I'm not sure to be quite honest i'll have some fun with the magic team for sure in war games from for the next couple of war game seasons for sure right but uh for me i'm still leaning towards the light team and i'm enjoying using the light team more so than anything else so yeah um it's up to you it's up to you to decide whether or not you're gonna go down that magic route if you are going down that magic route absolutely go for it i think it is absolutely worth it potentially and it's something that you can possibly make a lot of stuff happen with because again minus 25 percent magic res that automatically is really useful for you in record buster and familiar war games and uh, rush as well not war games russian royale i meant um pve content basically and of course you have Hel alfia and Ryu max so again those win magic units help each other out tremendously um i see the art i summon hey listen absolutely fine i know christian here says i hope you aren't free to play Listen, it's absolutely fine if you want to summon on a character because you like the art. If you want to get at least a copy of the unit, that's also fine. If you don't want to go deeper, that's also fine. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to go MLB every character you really like or you want to just get a copy of each character. Because remember, at the end of the day, Danmachi is a little bit nice in that regards when if you're a collector it's very very easy to get like at least a copy of the character because it's it's guaranteed multis right um the first step is literally guaranteed now of course on two and three unit banners it's a bit of roll the dice and hope you get the unit you wanted but when it comes to a banner like this and you know the artwork being fantastic and obviously being the only featured unit it's much much easier it's much much easier for sure um i'm new to the game and i spent my starter iris on justice succession Ryu leon ended up only getting two extra copies of her but did get a couple of the otaro unit and a few allen units and was just wondering if they are any good i also grabbed this new unit as it boosts the Ryu unit i got yes that is true the justice succession Ryu leon actually gets a bit of a boost because of this i was wondering if there are any sort of banners i was should look out for and i was wondering how often this hero fester you mentioned comes about sorry for leaving a comment like this but you seem pretty good at explaining things only things i was lost on were the unit names so i figured anything i wouldn't lose anything from asking that's absolutely fine and don't worry even we don't remember the unit names we just say earth otaral thunder otaral and it's like there might be th 30 different thunder otarals but like we can pretty much guess which one you're talking about because some of them are very outdated some of them are of course still usable to this day um i replied by saying basically that's absolutely fine hero festa banners come every one one and a half months give or take usually that's the situation right sometimes it's basically a directly a month after right uh so far it seems like this one is gonna take a month and a half basically um and, and i'm talking about from launch basically right so we got the hero festa elise and uh, Ryu banner at the end of january 31st january start of uh february basically first feb right and uh so far we haven't gotten any news of a new hero festa banner so it's probably gonna be a couple of another uh maybe another week or two before we get the next hero festa banner but from the end of a hero festa banner to the start of the new hero festa banner it's usually about a month but then the thing is the hero festa banner goes for like a month after that as well so realistically you got enough time to save up and everything um i would probably suggest for every new player like if you're a new player you've just started out you've summoned on a couple of things that's fine it happens you know you're you're, you're into the zone of like oh i've got this currency i may as well see what i get kind of thing but if you are a new player you want to go directly into a hero festa banner and see what you get and then from there you can maybe build a team around them the thing is right we don't know what the next set of hero festa units will do they could be physical units they could be magic units if there are magic units you've done a great job selecting what you've done to be quite honest because uh, alan is already fantastic i mean in terms of the units you've pulled alan is probably the best unit you've pulled there um ryu is okay i do think she could have gotten some better buffs but she's all right especially with the new bell cranel assist right i think it works really well um so yeah in all honesty if they are going to be magic right the next set of units this assist isn't really that bad it just depends on what element they are as well if we do get another wind element magic unit for the next hero festa unbelievable selection honestly it would have been 
it will be amazing to go for this unit but again we don't know we realistically don't know and we probably won't know for another two weeks maybe minimum so we're gonna have to wait and see of course right um, damn it, I'm sure this is gonna be tailored for next week's review, like last course was for Bell. Exactly, I think that's gonna be the case. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any situation where the next uh, anime gacha unit won't be a wa uh, wind magic unit. I don't know if it's gonna be a single target or AoE, we'll have to just wait and see on that front. Um, but yeah, it's probably gonna be wind magic, probably a view. Um, Salute to you, brother. Salute to you too for watching my videos. Appreciate it. Uh, F in hell, of course, they're OP. Yeah, this this unit is really good. I, I do still believe this unit is really good. It's just a case of which where I'm just there like, is it really worth it? You know, we're so close to the next event. We're so close to the uh, next Hero Festa. Is it really worth it? And then on top of that, of course, and I know a lot of players want to save up for the, you know, I know some people have been saying that there's going to be an SAO collab and stuff. I know some people got that from my video and my thumbnail listen it's not confirmed we don't know when it's gonna happen or if it even will happen to be quite honest um that is just me assuming that there is a possibility of an sao collaboration we don't know we have no idea but there could be a collaboration in april the, we have no confirmation about that last year they didn't say that we were going to get any collaboration in the roadmap we ended up getting two in fact right so there is a possibility that we could be doing the same here uh but of course like i said we're getting the hero festa at the very least and then anniversary in june three months away for anniversary the hero festa is literally two three weeks away probably so i would say saving up is much more smarter for the average free-to-play player but if you are spending if you are using a magic team go for it i think a magic team especially if you are planning on building a magic team it is really strong this assist but yeah that's uh that's something i would say uh, for is something for you guys to consider depending on your boxes but yeah let me know what you guys think a little bit of a longer video i was kind of hoping that this wouldn't be too long but i kind of went into a tangent of like talking about different things and plausibilities so yeah let me know if you guys are still planning on summoning on this bell assist unit um like i said i kind of i'm annoyed that i won't be summoning more for this assist unit but i'm happy getting at least one copy of this unit to be quite honest uh with the review last 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 time round. I was okay with going, uh, get, getting away with that Ryu, to be quite honest, because I had Apollo, right, from the 4th anniversary. Uh, whereas here, I don't have Hermes at a good uh, ML, uh, limit break. So, getting this Bell at least gives me a good start in potentially getting more copies of him through the Hero Festa banner or tickets or whatever it may be. And then maybe giving him Prism Bonds for the last two, maybe, you know, or something along those lines. But yeah. Um, please be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more Danmachi and Danmachi Memorial Freeze content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.